Hello YouTube and Mr. Forks, welcome to a brand new tutorial. Now this looks a bit weird, doesn't it? This is Premiere Pro rather than Final Cut Pro, so for my regular subscribers this might look a bit weird, but what we're going to be doing is using a Magic Bullet Suite application, LUT Buddy, to transfer colour correction from Premiere into Final Cut. And the cool thing about this program is you can also use it to send your colour grades into a more professional color grading application down the line when you finish your edit if you so wish. So the first thing we need to do is import some footage into our timeline and then we want to add a color correction. So we're going to type in fast and then we can get our fast color corrector, throw it onto this clip and we're just going to create a really distinctive color change so it's easy to see what's going on. So we're going to brighten up some of the shadows uh, also brighten up some of the highlights and tint the footage blue. I think it's easy to see the difference between the original and the colour corrected footage. One is very blue. Okay, so now we've got some footage with some colour correction, we want to start using LUT Buddy. So we're going to type in into the effects window, LUT Buddy, and we can see we've got it here. And what you actually need is two instances. We need to drag one instance before any of your color corrections and one instance below. So, what we want to do is on the first lap buddy is set the action to draw a pattern and that's basically going to draw this pattern in the top corner and then we're going to set the lap buddy which is going to come after all the effects and bear in mind if you had other effects, uh, other color corrections, we can add in another fast color correction just for example. You just want to make sure that you're basically creating a LUT sandwich so everything is between your two lap buddies. And then on the second lap buddy, we want to change the action to read pattern. So this now is going to not draw a pattern from the second lap buddy, it's just going to read uh, what changes have been made. But it's really important that you make sure that the pattern lines up on both as well, so it knows what it's looking for. Basically it's going to be looking for this original grid, but it's looking for this original pattern and it's going to track what changes are made between the uncolor corrected image and the color corrected image. So now that we've got our two instances of LUT Buddy, we can now export this information. With the setup button, we can click this and we can choose to the export the LUT. And we're going to call this blue CC for blue color correction. And you can see there's a few different file formats, but because we're just sending it to another Magic Bullet program, we can just leave it as cube. But you can see some of the other applications that you can start to send your color corrections to in the future and then we can go ahead and press save and then press OK and now we can hop over into Final Cut and here's one I prepared earlier we've got our footage in the timeline and we're going to go to effects because LUT Buddy doesn't actually have its own application for Final Cut Pro 10 we're going to use a different Magic Bullet Suite application Magic Bullet Looks so we drag this onto our footage and you can see that Magic Bullet Looks doesn't actually have any controls in the inspector panel. Now if you can't see the inspector then you can toggle it on and off with this button here. And the way you actually control Magic Bullet Looks is through a new user interface. So we're going to click the edit button here which is showing up in our viewer. And this is going to load the Magic Bullet Looks interface. Now this is a program that we're going to be taking a look at in the near future, so make sure you comment below if you definitely want to see that and I'll make sure I prioritise this video. We can now import our LUT. So the way Magic Bullet looks works very briefly is you put all your effects down here and it starts to become like a node based colour correcting program. So if we scroll down we can see that there's a LUT option. We can drag this into our post section and then from here we now have the controls for the tool and if you don't see them there's an arrow here to view the controls and we can click on the drop down menu and choose choose a LUT. Now it's going to show us Finder and we can choose our blue CC and then click open and just like that it's now looking blue so make sure we press the tick to save these changes and we have now got the same color correction applied to both pieces of video in both applications using LUT Buddy. Now, unfortunately, LUT Buddy doesn't have its own application or plugin for Final Cut Pro 10, which means we can't send color corrections from Final Cut into LUT Buddy in another application, which is unfortunate. But you can also use LUT Buddy to import or change color in Adobe After Effects. So 
If you're interested in that, stick around and I'm going to tell you how to do that right now. So let's hop over to Adobe After Effects where we have our piece of footage and we're going to drag it onto the comp button to create a new composition based on that piece of video. And in our effects and preset window, we can type in that buddy, drag this onto the footage, and on the options, we can import a LUT. We can do the same thing in Adobe Premiere if we so wish, and then we can choose open and press OK. Now, because we're using this as an endpoint effect, we're importing the color correction. We don't need two instance, instances of LUT, buddy. We don't need it to be anywhere in particular amongst our other color grading effects because it is applying color information. We're not trying to read information, we're not trying to draw the lookup table graphs to then have their colors changed and applied as we were doing in Adobe Premiere with our two instances here. We are literally just applying a color effect. So hopefully that makes sense. Lookup tables might be a little bit complicated. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop comments below or email me through my website. If you go to downloadfilms.com, then I can help you out a bit more there. Thank you.